Knowles with Jordy. This is your first visit. My name is Peter Knowles and I live on a classic wooden motor cruiser here in Victoria, British Columbia, along with my lovely girlfriend Andrea and the loving memory of my pup Jordy, all while fixing them both up for some pretty ambitious cruising. Well, it's a long way from Victoria, British Columbia. <laughs> this is um, the coast of Nova Scotia uh, in terms of uh, geography, that's the exact opposite side of the country. And I'm here visiting my daughter, my new grandson. And so I thought I'd take one of my old stopping grounds. I decided to build that house, as well as a few more that I thought I might show you. I'm not sure you can hear me, it is blustery here today. Anyway, let's have a look around. houses I built out here and I really really enjoyed it. Anything with a tower is loads of fun. In fact I built that tower on the ground right here and then we picked the whole thing up with a crane. As you saw in the intro this house was built right on a cliff at the very end of a peninsula making the view quite extraordinary and uh, in fact if you drop a hammer it's likely to land in the ocean. Um, really a lot of fun to build, a uh, great place to spend your days, uh, the client was really, really great. And I like to build what I consider a traditionally formed house, but with a little bit of a twist to it, and this worked out pretty well. You'll also never see a truss in one of my houses, all hand-cut rafters, uh, very, very traditional lines. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I just remember that view, it's just fantastic. Anyway, so here you can see what it would look like up in the tower. And um, to achieve that, what I did was I hired a crane and uh, went up in a bucket from the crane uh, to shoot a video around at the top, which I used for my 3D visualization uh, to show the client. It worked out, worked out pretty well, actually. <laughs> Lots of fun. So the tower started as a steel frame I had a fabricator build. Uh, and then uh, we just placed it on the ground and built the, all the elements of the tower uh, right in place. Um, right down to the level of the gasket, sill gasket, where we would sit it on the top of the structure and hung it from a galvanized hook that I um, embedded in the top. So it's away! Okay, I'm going up. And there it is in place. Uh, turned out really, really well. So as I mentioned in the intro, I'm here to visit uh, my family and uh, my new grandson, which I missed by a day when I came up uh, last summer. And he's an absolute charmer. Um, but I hope you'll forgive me um, because his parents are uh, very wise and uh, sensitive uh, to photos on the internet. So I won't be posting any pho photos of uh, this lovely young charmer for a little bit. And I hope you will all understand that. But I can tell you I had a fabulous week uh, with them. And I look forward to many, many more trips and taking that young fellow sailing someday. Gosh, this was such a neat house. I built this compound for a really lovely couple that, that subsequently sold it and uh, you know it's not often you don't feel comfortable checking out an old house you built. Violators will be shot. Alright, alright, yeah I got lots of pictures of that. This was our first real full timber frame. In other words, the structure was genuine um, mortise and tenon timber framed and then uh, to a rafter assembly above that and a departure from the style I'd been working with before that. There you can see the hammer beam uh, in place. Anyway, it turned out to be an awful lot of fun. Had a really great crew for it and uh, the house turned out to be very, very successful. I had many requests to build similar ones. In fact, the client asked me to come back and build this little party barn as well as the guest house you see at the left. Always curves with me. That stainless steel was made in a shipyard. Uh, had a great mason, all local granite for that work. It, it, it really, really turned out uh, very, very well. These photos are from a real estate listing because the house has actually changed hands a few times since then, um, which probably results why I didn't feel quite as comfortable with the number of security cameras around when I went down uh, to check it out. Anyway, Super House was very, very proud of it.
suppose I'd have to say this was pretty much my magnum opus. Uh, yet again, when I went to have a look, there were cars parked outside, but couldn't get anyone's attention, so I didn't feel comfortable running around taking photos. I never could have got photos as nice as these anyway, because it has also recently been sold, so the real estate listing photos are very, very nice of it. Um, what a lot of fun to build this. A really, really great client. I, I built that rotunda table in the living room of my house. Solid oak. Um, anyway, that really was a super place. Of course, all the houses I built up here were cottages. So people would come up here for a couple of weeks, almost always Americans, some Europeans. And so they needed a space that was really, really dramatic. And uh, with this one, I really feel I was able to do that while still echoing something semi traditional. Anyway, so all these curves and all this wood would probably give all of you an idea of why um, I've had uh, all this experience in the past uh, working with wood, and uh, it's building these houses that it's allowed me to do the work that I do on the boats, and um, it uh, it's kind of amazing to, to, see, to see these again, um, some fun we had. I designed this house for a lovely couple who appreciate their privacy, uh, so I didn't want to uh, barge in on them. Uh, I don't have a lot of photos of it, strangely, uh, except for the renderings I did when I first proposed it to them, and we ended up going exactly with what I'd done. Again, there'll always be curves on my houses. Oh gosh, that's a pretty early rendering. Peter, 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 Peter. Another one of my favorites. Pure and simple. I like to consider that I would build houses that could have been here for a hundred more, more years and then just sort of tastefully renovate it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Someone has uh, seriously mu- I, I can't. I, I can't. Okay, I feel a bit brutal about this, but that was not tastefully added to. <laughs> Here's some photos of the original pergola that I built on this house, and uh, well, I guess it doesn't suit the new owner. Speaking of inappropriate additions to what I would consider a very sweet little house, I'm not sure what's going on here. It's some sort of compost recycling facility. I, anyway, this one just completely freaked me out. Look, way back, this is what it looked like. I've always driven Land Rovers, or at least for a long time. So this is a Gothic revival that I uh, I built almost in pure appreciation for the Gothic revival style, uh, but just trying to get the proportions and the trim just, just right. Um, it's a very small house, so the interior was quite cozy and uh, also built as if it could have been there a uh, hundred or plus years ago. I apologize, these photos I see now are a bit out of focus. Directly behind it is another completely traditionally styled house. This is known as a Lunenburg Bump. It's a story and a half um, that is a vernacular to the town of Lunenburg, very nearby, with that very signature uh, dormer that hangs over the front door. And uh, even though they're not often built outside of town, uh, I think it worked out here very, very well, and the client was very pleased with it. Um, from this one, you can see back to the other house. We and complete, or almost complete. For some reason, I don't have any photos of this one when it's finished. Anyway, it was a cute little house. I can certainly tell you it feels very odd driving around all these years later and all my children are still here, all these houses I've designed and built. Um, this is a pretty little uh, Cape Cod um, there we go with the truck again. I love that truck. It was super. Anyway, that I designed and built for a lovely couple. Uh, again, all fully traditionally uh, designed and framed, um, except I built it gable on uh, to the view so that I could put all that glass in the end gable. So from inside, you could really enjoy that view of the marsh and the ocean beyond. But from the road, it really looked like a traditional cape. Anyway, it turned out to be a really nice little house. And I believe the original owners are still in it, uh, which is really nice because they were lovely people. Uh, this house built high above Kingsburg, again with the Land Rover. I built that staging so I could show the client what the view would be like when we started construction. Um, oh, some goofing around with the Land Rover. Land Rover enthusiasts will recognize that that's actually not my current truck. That's my previous truck, a Series 3. 
this was a, a larger project and uh, built uh, um, sort of themed on a Gothic revival, uh, but uh, with a with a large coach house uh, with studio above guest house. In fact, anyway, it turned out to be a really really nice house. That one. It always amazed me what the sea does to this beach. In winter, the waves wash away all the sand, and in summer, the gentler waves bring it all back. And this is a beautiful, soft sand, warm beach. I, I taught my girls to swim on this beach. Lovely times. My mother's still here, and every time I come back, I make sure to visit. It seems strange as I do, because she doesn't know we left. <laughs> Thanks for indulging me on this trip through the past. I'm very proud of the legacy I've left standing here in this beautiful place with these beautiful people. I was also very proud to have raised my daughters here, and uh, they've gone on and I've gone on, but this is where it all started. And this is where I learned a lot about wood and making things and designing things. So coming back is, well, it's stirring up some memories, I can tell you. As I flew back across the country on many, many flights, I reflected back on the times that I've lived in many of the places of this country, some colder than others, but some much warmer than others, and I'm reminded what a beautiful part of the country I'm living in now. These bays and coves on the Pacific coast are just a glorious, glorious place to be, and I'm so grateful for it, and I'm so grateful to be back. I'm home.